in contact. No? Or maybe you call it So what if you run a C230 exhaust? It's a single exit. For this, this year, then you have a C230 that has a single exit instead of dual. And other times, there's a 250 too, but it's a two and a half. And it's a single column of that. Yeah. So it's not, this has yeah, two dual, quarter, dual. So yeah. We, need to, we just need more monitors to go up there. All right, go ahead. It's a battery left. Yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know why. Look at this. It's almost looking like a car again. And it runs. It's actually, you know, it's 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 pretty amazing. I didn't think this car would sound like this. This car sounds like it. Yeah. That just tells you uh, how much they dilute it with the factory exhaust. Well, we're getting there. Applying some Loctite yet? Applying some Loctite. Go ahead and just thread it in there. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, once the both nuts start spinning, it's been bottomed out. <laughs> TSW Torinas. Pop the steering wheel off, the quick release, and the Allen wrenches are over there by the, the baby diaper. I hope you're getting the 
differential cover seals here. I'm gonna use this plate to send it home. And what you're looking for is uh, for this metal shield to be seated flush with the housing. Getting our diff cover ready for action on our C300 differential. It has been upgraded Actually, with a Quaif limited slip really unit. Right there. This one. And there's your main man, Gareth Foley. Getting ready to put some Loctite sealant on our end cap. So Gareth, what kind of sealant are we using? Loctite 5970. That's what Mercedes says, but uh, you know, BMW uses the same shit. Everybody uses this stuff, so. BMW, we just happen to have this in stock. Because we have all BMW in stock all the time. What about Mercedes? Not so much. It will change so after this year when this thing goes up and tears up the track. Just ignore the background noise. He was so proud of that thing, too. Yeah, well, we tried. <laughs> now, as a future message to the FCP Euro AER team, don't blow this up. This man takes great pride in his work. After that, after he's done with that, we'll slap it in. It'll be the last time that our Quake C300 sees the light of day. All right, we got a nice thick bead around the inside of the differential cover. I should wait a couple minutes, let it, to we'll let it flash over a little bit. Yep, we're gonna give it a couple minutes, let it flash over, and we put it in our differential. Torque spec, 30 new meters, plus 45 degrees. Why 45 degrees? I don't know. So torquing down the bolts, you wanna go in a star pattern. If you're watching this video, you probably know what you do doing but or not if you don't that means you crisscross the bolts that you torque down until you get all of them that ensures an even flat seal on between the cover and the housing and you won't have leaks you hope I know it won't leak that's why we pay Adam the big bucks. Hey, can I be in the car life video? You can. Jam Master J. Okay, so I can have the center of gravity on right in my chest and on my face. Uh, uh, I can help guide it. I can help. I'm just saying, cause here versus here, my arms will get a lot less tired, a lot slower. Like, I mean, if that's how you want, if you want to try it that way, Adam, that's fine. Okay. Because I'm just worried about getting tired and then dropping it and having it hit one of you guys. Ready? Okay, I'm expendable. <laughs> oh, I can get it. Okay. You're going to want to bring it over more or slide yourself now the other way. Because we got to put this end in. Yeah, and 
needs to... Do we need to maybe tap it with the dead blow? What? So that it gets past the snap ring. So now we got it. I got it if you need to let go of it first. Oh, good. Um, I remember when we took it out, we had to jerk it. This time. There we go. Snap rings in. Yep. So now, what, else, what do we need to do, Gareth? We need to, oh, sorry. I have to basically swing this shit out over here. Ow. Steve, why don't you get on this side and so you lay, lay underneath here. All right, I'm um, letting go. It. Yep. All right. That's, oh. yeah, that was gonna happen. I was watching that. Okay. Don't worry. And so then we gotta lower that lower that stub shaft down. All right. Get this out of the way. All right. Now what? Oh, and we gotta. No, we gotta push. We gotta go forward. It's gotta go forward. Yeah. No, that's pinched. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Don't want to nick the seal. All right. We're gonna watch your finger. Now. <laughs> Yeah. All right. We're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to pull this as far away well, as possible. Well, not, yeah. Well, I'm I'm maxed out. Okay. And and this joint is very unhappy right now. I know. I very know. very unhappy. I know. All right. I'm past the seal. So let's straighten it out. Twist. Up. Twist. 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 And up. Let's try and get it. Yeah, do we wanna wanna try to get this floor jack under it? No. You sure? Yeah. How can we can well, we possibly bolt the back the back half up so it's in the car? Uh how well it's not in the uh Yeah, it's not really in, so we're gonna run into that problem. We really need to so, get it seated. Here, I'll hold it up and then you can slide out from underneath it. I got it. Is this stuff trapped in now? No, it's not. I got it. Where do you want me to go? Um, let's get the floor jack underneath it. Good? Yep. Because we're going to be, we're going to have to manipulate it such that we get the stub shaft back in. That's, you're going to have to, Gareth, let me, uh, go. Here. Ah, damn it. Go. <sighs> It's a lot easier on a lift. There it is. Right there. No, it's not. Yeah, right there. Alright. Oh, that, thank you, shoulder. Right. So, uh, I'm gonna have to try it. You're gonna have to push that side that way while I'm pushing the diff towards you to try and get it to. Alright, hang on, let me get this shit down and out. Ready? Yep. One. No, we're gonna have to do it in like a jerking fashion, so right. do it at the same time on three, alright? All right? Yep. One, two, three. There we go. Bingo. That sounded promising. Oh, yeah, that went in. Fuck yeah. And we're still in on the other side. Fuck yeah, yeah gents. Can I some more? Uh, uh, coming in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in coming. coming in hard. Coming in hot. All right, do you know if those holes at the top are lined up? Uh, kind of. Kind of? All right, I'm going to try to insert them now. All right, this one. So, or, uh, I'm doing left side. So let me know when you're ready. Going through. Trying to go ahead and thread these 
bolts back in. This is the access hole in the trunk. Going in? Yep, I'm going. You want your gun? Yep. Actually, do you wanna let's let's line up the other yeah. bolt first? Good good call. So we're getting our bolts and the differential you're going through the uh, trunk area right there. You see the access hole. You send that bolt through the bushing and it threads into the cover right there. So here comes Gareth with the bolt threading into the bushing in the subframe. I will help you, Gareth. There we go. Now we're in through the bushing. So now we've got our bolt started by hand, threading into the cover. We're going to take our perfectly calibrated impact, send it home, and send some Yeah. I haven't charged in, like, a while. Also running on a battery on this. <clears throat> yep. That's just the tires on their floor. It's looking like a race car.